This is part 2 of our series. We'll talk about key drivers that affect child's behavior and critical factors that shape a child's personality. Children are a trust to us from the Creator. They don't belong to us. We are accountable for what we pass on to them. And they are our biggest investment indeed. At the end of the day, we are looking forward that our ch children are proud, they are confident, they can think, they can solve their problems, they're emotionally balanced, and it's a long process to go. Our behaviors affect them both positively and negatively. Our positive behaviors are respecting patience, endurance, and acting in the adult zone, as we discussed earlier, and always appropriate to the child's age. Negative behaviors are if we start reacting, if we are harsh, if we are yelling, if we are shouting, humiliating them or if we are labeling them so the best principles obviously come from the creator himself and reformers prophets and one thing comes stands very clearly stands out that is unconditional love for the child that's very important next let's talk about the two key drivers that affect a child's behavior the two key drivers are need to belong and need for attention to develop their personality, we have to fulfill these two primary needs of a child. The need to belong, this fulfills when the children take part in activities with their peers. We must involve them in activities. We must give them things that they can share and talk about with their peers. That can be a toy, that can be a book. And we should engage them in activities which are active, avoid passive activities like giving a tablet and give, uh, uh, using TV as a babysitter, for example. And the need for attention, that is extremely important and we don't realize that children need these stimuli of encouragement very often and regularly and always. Even if the child is coloring quietly, okay, at some uh, corner, if you are around and you are not looking at, the child does not feel comfortable. You have to occasionally check on and say, oh, wow, you are doing good, right, and encourage. Otherwise, they very quickly start feeling ignored, but we don't realize it. So they need to uh, feel being noticed. If we don't notice them, they will try to get our attention even by making mischiefs or even by uh, through even bad behaviors. But that fulfills their need. Because at least we, uh, they, uh, they were successful in getting our attention. This is very important. And children are expert observers. They do make mistakes in interpreting what they observe. But they observe. So we should praise them. Praise helps them. They feel important. They feel capable of doing something. And secondly, we must support and encourage them when some obstacles come. If they don't if, uh, find support from the adults around, they develop a personality with the passage of time that either they become a little bit kind of isolated, they don't mix up with others, their social skills are lost, or they just start blindly following the crowd. Their decision-making power, uh, at the uh, self-confidence is lost or compromised. So this is very important. Three factors which affect child's personality are family atmosphere, position within family, and methods of training. So these things actually need a parents' workshops and teachers' workshops and trainings. But uh, uh, primarily the things are that the family atmosphere is very, very important. It's a joint responsibility. The mother only and the father only are the extremes, right? Some fathers tend to ignore and some mothers tend to uh, kind of ignore. So that's very important. The second is that children, as we said, they're keen observer. They observe our attitude and everything, even in spending, how we meet others, how we treat our guests, how we treat our servants. They're watching and learning. So we must be aware of that. It's all about actually reforming ourselves. And we have to be fair with them, even among the children. If we are not cooperating as parents or adults around the children, among ourselves, the children are learning, so they will learn accordingly. 
and if they are watching us as a moderate behavior they will learn that the second part is the position within family i think many of us are not aware about this that at at, at as adult we know whenever a somebody in the team comes new we have to adjust her in the team and we do a team building exercise again so that everybody is familiar with him and she is familiar with everybody with birth of every child psychology instructs us and informs us that the dynamic changes and the earlier child the elder child he feels ignored so we have to reestablish uh, that child position like another team building and these things uh, have a lifelong uh, attitude and impact uh, on their habit formations Uh, i think most of us don't realize that and we uh, simply let things go uh, we look at the children's tantrums but we don't know what to do the issue is uh, that's a very sensitive period for the child the third part is training there are lots of things in the training uh, which we will discuss in detail in the next but uh, the crux is if we are strict and if we are not balanced the child personality will not be moderate as we are looking for and if the child sees contradiction in our own behaviors we are not consistent child children observe and they recognize and they learn these things what we learn is adult should model good behavior respect and jointly share the responsibility when a new child comes they should redo the team building process and throughout they should be soft moderate and consistent in their behavior for a strong personality two things are important one the child has faith very strong faith faith in the creator trust in allah secondly the child believes in himself in herself so these two are the pillars uh, we will discuss a bit on various dimensions how can we inculcate these things in the child and the principles are listed on the screen uh, start with the faith and how we develop their skills how we can be fair and consistent what we do with the reward and punishment and uh, how we interact with them so that these things come really strong in them thank you very much